In this tutorial guys we're going to learn how to create a simple logo in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, what we're going to do with our logo today is start off in Adobe Photoshop with this picture of LeBron James. We actually want the shape of his body to be our logo. So what we need to do is cut LeBron out of this picture and then move it to Illustrator so we can work with it to make it a logo. So what I'm going to do is just zoom in quickly so you can get a closer look at what I'm doing. And to cut LeBron out, we're going to use the Quick Selection tool. It's the fourth one down in your toolbox. Okay, after we select that, just pop up the top, make sure the size of your Quick Selection tool is around the 20 pixel mark. Once you've got it there, simply click on LeBron and we can start cutting out the sections we need. You can take your finger off the mouse while doing this, that's no drama. Photoshop will just pick up where you left off. And also don't worry if you select some of the background. So if you go outside the lines, that's okay as well. We can fix that problem. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment when I make a mistake. It's bound to happen. We've got the bottom half of his body selected pretty well. I'll get this arm here. There we go, sure enough I've made a mistake. Underneath his armpit there I've selected all this section of the background and we don't want that. So to remove that section that I selected just hold down the ALT key and you can watch my mouse cursor change from a little plus sign to a minus sign. Once we've got that minus sign there we can start erasing that selection that I made on the background. There we go, that looks reasonable. Now just to finish off, I'll grab this last part of his arm up here and grab the ball. That looks like a pretty good selection of LeBron's body. Just to confirm that, I'm going to go up to Refine Edge at the top here. It's a little button that can let us know how we've gone. We can fix up the edges if need be. Looking at that, I'm fairly happy with what I've done. Um, his tummy, his arm over here. Probably his bottom leg are a little bit jagged. Uh, but what we can do is use this Refine Edge dialog box that has appeared to smooth out those edges. Oh, I can also see a grey line just going through here. Before I go any further, I will need to get rid of that. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key. Just get rid of that line, even though I can't see it here. It's probably getting rid of it for me. Let's go back to Refine Edge. Yeah, sure enough, that grey line has disappeared. Okay, so to smooth the edges out, to go back where we were a minute ago, we need to first of all click the Smart Radius button just here and move the radius slider up to about 2 pixels. So that works with the 2 pixels around the edge of LeBron's body shape. Um, we want to smooth those edges out to begin with, so bump this smoothing button up, usually around a 20 to 30 mark. should smooth out the edges pretty nicely. You can see already the arm and the legs and the tummy that I was worried about before are becoming a lot smoother. You can play around with the other levers as well if you'd like, the feather and the contrast and the shift edge tool there. I don't really need too many of them, maybe the contrast can be bumped up to about 20% mark. That usually helps a little bit. I don't think I need to touch the feather or the shift edge though. And finally, once you're happy with how it's looking, Click on Decontaminate Colors, and you can see that that's going to output our picture to a new layer. If you look in our Layers box down here, you'll see when I click OK, a new layer has appeared. And there's our final cutout of LeBron. So to finish him off, I'm just going to grab the Crop tool. That's the fifth tool down in the toolbox. Draw a rectangle around the section I would like to keep. You can get pretty close to him here. And once you're happy with the section you want to keep, either press enter or hit the little tick at the top of the page and that will just crop out the excess space that we don't need. Okay, so we've got our body shape cut out. It's time to move over to Illustrator now and turn it into a logo. Um, so first of all, File menu, Save As. Just save it as a Photoshop PSD document. I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can find it easily. I'll just call it LeBron. So yeah, it's a PSD document. Click save, and you're done in Photoshop. 
So you can head on over to Adobe Illustrator now, where you can create a new document. An A4 document is what will appear by default. That's fine for our needs. There's our A4 canvas. And it's time to bring the picture of LeBron in now. And to do that, it's quite simple. Go to your file menu, select place, and just find that picture of LeBron wherever you saved it. Just grab it, so I'm looking at my desktop. There's my LeBron PSD document. If I place it in the document, it does exactly that. It puts a picture of LeBron into our document. Now, to turn it to a logo, we need to keep this blue box around him, which means that we've selected him. And we're going to use the Live Trace tool at the top here to trace LeBron. Um, Adobe Illustrator will trace him for us. Hit the little arrow next to the Live Trace tool to get a whole bunch of presets. You can try a few of these out if you'd like. For example, if you want a logo with just six colors, choose the Color 6 Live Trace. And that option will convert your logo into a six-coloured cartoon-looking logo. Bit ugly though, so I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to keep it simple. I just want one colour in my logo, which is black for the logo, actually two colours, and a white background. So a black and white logo might look good. Ah, uh, looks okay. It's not fantastic. What I'd like to do is get a bit more black in there and remove some of this white from his body. So to do that, we've got the threshold um, option up here that we can play around with. This slider will go up to 255 as the maximum. So I'm going to ramp it right up to 255 and see how it looks. There we go. That's not a bad looking logo, actually. There's a few dodgy looking edges, but nothing we can't fix. Looks like he's had a finger chopped off and another one looks a bit pointy over here and he's got a few wobbly parts in his leg. But we can fix that with some of the tools that Illustrator has on offer. Okay, if you did want a little bit more detail in there, so some of the white back in his body, you just nudge the threshold back down a bit to the 230, 240 mark. You can start to get a little bit more white in there. Personally, I think I'm going to stick with the threshold at its maximum so I can have that solid black colour. Now once you've got your logo there, it's quite simple to add text. You can use the T over here, the type tool, to add whatever text you'd like. Um, some other things, you could flip it around so it's facing the other way. So you can right click on it, transform it, and there's a few options there, rotating, reflecting and all that. Reflecting is what we're after. We'll just do a vertical reflect. To make him face the other way. Now, if you want to colour him in, simply click on the picture, head across to your toolbox over here, and it's underneath the Shape Builder tool menu, you'll see the Live Paint Bucket. If you grab that tool, and we may have to click off him first of all. So now I'll grab the live paint bucket tool. Up the top, select whichever colour you would like. I might choose pink for this example. And then just click somewhere inside your logo. This funny dialog box will come up telling you to select the path you want to colour in. So it looks like we're going to have to go back to our black arrow. Select what we want. And colour it in. Box will say you won't be able to edit something or other. Don't worry about that. Just click OK. And there's our logo. Colored in. Um, some other things you could do if you want to refine these edges, try to make them a little bit smoother. We can zoom in. I'll go down to his legs here. Okay. Once we're on the legs, you can click on it with the black arrow and you can see these little blue dots appearing around the outside of our shape. If we grab the white arrow tool and double click on those little blue dots, it gives us the option to move them around. And you start to move them back in line with the rest of them to help give us a smoother, smoother outline of his legs. Okay, it's not looking too bad there now. Um, I know his fingers had a few issues, so if you want, you can. Give him some more fingers, they might become a little bit pointy, so you can grab the little handles and bend, whoa, bend them around so they're not quite as pointy. 
there's a few options there you can play with. There you go, still deformed looking fingers, but once you play around with it, it'll start to look quite good. So there's our logo. That's how you create one from scratch by using a photograph. Um, with a bit of practice, that becomes quite easy. So good luck with creating your logo.